Hi there, my name is Mary Elizabeth and I'm the surviving ed blogger at Healthy Place. Today, I want to talk about the influence that anxiety can have on appetite and how it can be difficult to eat when stress or tension has your digestive system feeling all knotted and tight and uncomfortable, which can be a problem for those of us in eating disorder recovery. So here are a few action steps that uh, work for me when I feel too anxious to eat, and hopefully some of these will resonate with you. So uh, number one, I identify the cause of my stress or anxiety, and I notice where in the body those emotions have manifested. Once I can connect the mental or emotional turmoil with a concrete physical sensation, I can begin to calm that area of the body. Number two, I focus on taking slow, deep, even intentional breaths. I picture directing the airflow towards the particular region of the body that seems to be holding most of the tension. And I imagine those knots in my stomach or intestines being loosened with each mindful breath. And number three, I experiment with which foods I can comfortably tolerate when I feel anxious, and I stick with them. Such foods uh, that are soft, like oatmeal or lentils, leave me feeling satiated without exacerbating the nausea. Or when all else fails, a liquid diet of fruits, spinach, nut butter, and cashew milk blended into a smoothie fuels me with the right balance of nutrients in an easily digestible format.